So now that we have Jordan's principal signed and a settlement deal uh, reached, uh, we think that we might um, have solved uh, the Indigenous question when it comes to healthcare in Canada. However, um, September 28th of 2020, um, a woman by the name of Joyce Echaquan uh, was killed in Quebec. She was in hospital. Um, she was having heart problems. She had a pacemaker installed, so she wasn't um, unknown to the healthcare system. And uh, mm. she was essentially she uh, broadcast um, her death on Facebook Live, and if you haven't heard the video of Joyce Eshaquan uh, screaming while uh, the nurses in the Quebec hospital were insulting her and telling her to shut the hell up and that she is only good for sex. Um, I would recommend going and finding that video and listening to uh, the way that she was treated. Um, it's, a, it's a shocking video um, because it was broadcast live. It's not shocking to people who are indigenous um, and have ac had to access the health care system. Um, the nurses assumed that she was going through opioid withdrawals, and that happens a lot within Canada. Um, the Quebec coroner uh, eventually uh, did rule that racism played a factor in her death. Um, the coroner also said that she believed that Joyce Eshquan would still be alive today if she were white. So this is an example of systematic racism that Indigenous people experience all the time when accessing healthcare. Um, this image is from a rally that occurred after, and I took this image um, from a BBC article uh, to show that really it did um, reach an international audience. And it is absolutely outrageous that people could still be treated like this um, within Canada. So, while we do have uh, treaties that establish our relationship and uh, are supposed to act within the context of peace and friendship, right? Like that's what a lot of them are called, is the peace and friendship treaties. Um, we could see modern examples of how this has not been the case. And we know that. However, when I think about Joyce Eshaquan, I think about all of the people that uh, didn't happen to have their cell phone in their hand while they were being treated the way they were treated. Um, I think about Jordan's family waiting for him, waiting to bring him home. Um, and this is the reality of healthcare within. Uh, within Canada for Indigenous people. Um, so these are some really uh, heavy things to think about, uh, but these are also like the realities of what it is like to access healthcare. And it's really something uh, to think about while you're doing your research and really understand um, why someone might be hesitant to talk to you if you are a doctor or a nurse or healthcare practitioner of any kind, and why um, 
You might be experiencing uh, difficulties in relationship building and um, getting information because the trust and the treaties that are supposed to establish trust have been completely broken. Um, and we're still fighting to be seen as um, equal participants within healthcare uh, within Canada. So these are just things to know and to think about um, and to consider while you're thinking about what your motivation is for wanting to understand Indigenous health related research. If you have any questions, um, please uh, feel free to reach out to me and um, I would love to, to chat with you. Thanks for watching.